What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Recently I've been getting a lot of comments on the videos as well as messages on Instagram about the difference between saving and investing. So I decided to take a few minutes in this video to explain the two. Savings is the money that a person has left over after they subtract out their consumer spending from their disposable income over a given time period. Simply put, it's the money that you have left over after you've paid all your bills. Now the most common type of savings would be a typical savings account that you could open up through your bank. Investing is the act of allocating resources, which is usually money, with the expectation of generating an income or profit. Which basically means to commit money in order to earn a financial return. These type of commitments would be things like stocks, bonds and mutual funds. So now that we know the basic difference between the two, the biggest question is what do I choose, investing or saving? So I'm going to give you an example to try to help you understand better. 1st of January 2022, you have 1,000 US dollars and you decide to put it into your savings account into the bank. Now your bank is giving you a generous 0.05%. If you do find that interest rate, please let me know where. And at the end of the year, you decide to take out your money, you would have made a whole five US dollars, 1,005 US dollars in total. Compare that to the S&P 500, which annually on average gives about 10% in return. So 1st of January 2022, you decide to take your 1,000 US dollars and instead of putting it into the savings, listen to Kyle and put it into a S&P 500 stock. 10% later, at the end of the year, you will come out with 1,100 US dollars. That is a return of $100 versus $5. Forget the fact that you're making $95 extra. The most important thing actually is beating inflation. Inflation is the decline of purchasing power of a currency over time. Basically what that means is what you can buy with a thousand US dollars today, next year you'll need more money to buy that same product. Let's do a calculation to explain further. We're going to continue using the one thousand dollars for the savings account. As you can see we factored in seven percent for inflation but after the inflation, you can see your $1,000 after one year alone is now valued at $939. This shows you that if you earn an interest of 0.5%, you are actually losing money. However, with your investment account with an interest rate of 10%, your end balance is $1,100. But after inflation, your $1,000 is actually worth $1,028, which means you gained $28. So now we just have to ask ourselves, when should we start investing and how much? Now that all just depends on you as an individual and what your goals are. Me, for example, I believe 110% in investing and I will throw all my money into it. I'm not telling you guys to do it because I'm just a guy on YouTube and you need to do your due diligence to make sure you're making the right decision. For example, if you have short term goals like you need quick cash to go on a holiday, then you should save and not invest because just remember, investing is long term. As well as if your retirement plans are going in the right direction, then you don't really need to invest. But because I'm still young and I still need to sort out my retirement plans, that's why we invest. We didn't start investing from day one, just remember, because if you watched my previous video, I talked about Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps. So first we saved, once we hit our target, that's when we started investing. So I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between investing and saving and how different they actually are. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week.